morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. We trust that you are all keeping well. And could we open in prayer first? Father God, we just thank you for this new day. Thank you that you are our Father, that you love us so much. Thank you for Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins. And thank you, Lord, for the promise of eternal life and eternal glory with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Today we're going to be reading from Ephesians 4, or verses 15 and 16. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into him who is the head, that is, Christ. From him the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Thanks, Carl. Uh, I know contrary to uh, popular belief, I do own a tie, and so I hope you are all impressed uh, that uh, I'm wearing a tie today and, uh, and Gail's wearing a scarf, so I think we make a good pastoral couple. <laughs> we pray so. <laughs> anyway. Uh, what I'd like to, or what we'd like to speak about today, is about um, our spirituality. Um, are we are we following uh, a worldly kind of spirituality, or are we following Jesus' uh, spirituality? Because the notes that uh, that we've made is that is that the mistake that people make in their efforts to grow uh, spiritually, it, it's is to think that life is to you know, it's divided into two parts um, and separate parts. The first one is the spiritual part and the other one is the earthly part. And this, and I'm sure that you've also seen this and experienced this. We, we've seen it time and time again in the church. There's been division in the church, uh, man, right right from way back when in, 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 in many churches. In, I mean, even in the days of Paul and with Timothy and uh, Barnabas and and all of them and even to today we experience this this division in the churches and that's also because many of us who are uh, perhaps more of a worldly kind of Christian we are influenced by by the stuff that the world is uh, teaching which is you know what we shared uh, Gal and I shared with you the other day uh, we influenced by by what the world is teaching and that influences our spirituality and sometimes we we, we include the drama and we include the, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the super stuff that, that actually um, uh, leads us further from, from Christ than what it should. And, at a, and in, a, in a time like this, when we are able to, 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 to sit and think and listen to each other's uh, uh, devotionals and, and, um, and read the word and pray and, and reflect, we start to realize, we start to calm down and we start to realize that we need to focus on the Bible. We need to focus on the word of God, not in, not in all the stuff that, that, that distracts us and, and, it, and it leads us in, on, a, on a, a worldly spirituality with all kinds of funny things. Now, if we look at Jesus Christ, Jesus was a spiritual person, number one, and number two, he was a practical person, and whatever Jesus spoke about, he applied in his life. And, I mean, let's just have a look at prayer. Let's just have a look at prayer. When Jesus said to his disciples and to, to the people that were following him, I want you to pray. I want you to pray to the Father. I want you to spend some time, and I want you to fast, and I want you to pray and fast. He did that too. He did that as well. He, he prayed. And he fasted and he was the prime example where he used uh, spirituality and practicality to show them who God is, to show, to show them how to interact with God, to, to develop that relationship with God. And that's the message that we need to, to understand today is that, and I know, uh, we, we're preaching to the converted. So praise the Lord. We're preaching to the converted. But there might be one or two of you that, that listen and, and hear this message that you'd, you'd start to understand that, listen, am I focusing on, on Jesus Christ 
and the spirituality that he is teaching us. Not, not, not funny stuff, not, not weird stuff, but, but is he teaching? Am I learning what, what he wants me to know? That's what you need to ask yourself. Are you learning how to pray? Are you learning how to, to read the, the word? Are you learning how to show the love of God in, in, in your life, in your family's life, and also in others, in, in people that you interact with? Are you, are you showing them that, that you are a Christian? Are you showing them that you're righteous? Are you showing them that you're holy? That is the question you need to ask yourself. And how do we show people that we are righteous, that we are holy, that we are sanctified? We show them by our actions, by the way that we talk. In other words, we are showing them the Christ within us. That is our goal. Let us pray. Father, thank you for hearing our prayer. We give you, Lord, all the, gl the glory. Please, Lord, be with us as we as we are, we, Lord, you know, we in battle day in and day out by all kinds of things that, that's been tossed at us, Lord. And we know that the evil one is always at work trying to dissuade us and, 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 and lead us away from you. So please, Lord, please protect us. We've seen so many instances and experienced so many instances where, where people are, are, are swayed, Lord. Please let, the, let, this, let this be a lesson for us, Lord, as we walk with you. Because you love us and we want to love you in return. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Bye.